Hello and welcome to the Kimanas Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we review all 10 races from Sunday, September 24. This included the day's feature, the Louis Hitchens Memorial Cup, contested over 1,800 meters. Race 1 is where we begin. This was a restricted allowance event which saw 9 starters covering a distance of 1,100 meters on a sloppy surface. Rocket Lily, the mount of championship chasing jockey Rayan Lewis, was a 1-2 favorite. They're off. Bad gal Riri lags at the back after a poor start. Bridal Blush didn't get away that well. And Rocket Lily is riderless. Action pack Ray and Lewis off. Soul Amir goes for that lead. Big argument right alongside. Little Grovey thing on their heels as they arrive at the half mile. The riderless horse is racing out wide and clear of the runners so far. Queku is racing in behind Little Grovey thing. Silver Fox joining Queku. Bridal Blush is next in the red with the green sleeves. The Good Life a further four lengths in behind that one. And Bad Gal Riri yet to recover. They're approaching the final 5-16th. And it is Big Argument and a Soul Amia battling for it. They're coming into the lane. Big Argument on the outside. Soul Amia in the gold silks. And these two maintain their fight as they charge past the 316th. Big Argument possibly just over Soul Amia. Watch Queco on the rail now beginning to find room and coming at them. Little Grovey Thing is racing right with those on the extreme outside. But it is Queco on the rail and a Little Grovey Thing now. These two go on from the rest. Inside the final 16th, Queco has now taken charge under Bebito Harvey. Little Grovey Thing chasing in vain. Queco is down. Wins by maybe three over Little Grovey Thing. Then Solamia. A photograph between the good life and the big argument for fourth and fifth. A brilliant ride from Jockey Bebeto Harvey saw the two to one entry Queco securing the day's opening event. Second went a Little Groovy Thing, followed by Sol Amia and a big argument. Jockey Ryan Lewis fell from his Mount Rocket Lily at the start of the race, with preliminary reports suggesting he suffered no fractures. Race 2 was another restricted allowance event. Maya, the mount of radish sneaky fox Roman, was sent off as a 4 to 5 favorite for this trip covering 1400 meters. They're off and racing, that's a good line. Breaking in the far, far side, that's Maya, that is going for that early lead. So Maya, just the leader from genealogy, settled back into second. Right there, too, that's dancing in the breeze. Coming up on the rail, that's Morse code, and Morse code goes right to on that lead. Then comes at Pro Johnny and ZI racing at the back of the field. So it's Morse code and genealogy mixing it up. Right on the outside, that's Maya. Right on the inside of Maya, that is dancing in the breeze and the trailing pair. But they're not separated by far, though. Pro Johnny now goes into fifth and relegated to sixth. That's ZI. They pass the four and the war continues up front. On the inside, Morse code. On the outside, genealogy. There are two lengths in front of Maya now sent in chase. Dancing in the breeze is right there too. Also coming on, that's Pro Johnny backing out and really out of it now. That's ZI. They are coming to the two and a half for a long point. And Morse code kicks away from genealogy. Coming forward on the outside. Here comes Pro Johnny. Also coming on, that's Maya. But it is still in front. Morse code. Here comes Pro Johnny. Coming down the middle of the racetrack with purpose. It is still in front. Morse code. But Pro Johnny now hops to the front from Morse code on the inside. It's Pro Johnny in front for Bebito Harvey, and it looks like he'll open the first, he opened the card, and he'll have a second winner. Pro Johnny begins to skip away. He's skipping in the mud. He's liking the underfoot condition this afternoon. Pro Johnny, about six lengths. Morse code does well for second. Then comes a genealogy, and Maya is fourth. Jockey Bobito Harvey secures the first two races of the day, sitting aboard Pro Johnny for trainer Gary Crawford. The winning time was clocked at 1 minute 30 and 2 fifths of a second, covering 1400 meters. Race 3 saw horse number 2 champion Michaela being a late non starter. Champion rider Dane Dawkins replaced Ray and Lewis aboard the 4 to 5 favorite, another champion. Now they're off. They charge down the back stretch. Jackson is the one that gets that lead, another champion. And a matriarch racing up next. At the back, it's Mule Train as Miss HJF is hung up in the gates. They make their way now, flashing past the five. Jackson now goes on by a lengthened nose tickling tail. Matriarch chasing right against the fence. Another champion is some three lengths back and running in third. And a Mule Train left at the back. 
a half a mile to run. They go spinning into that turn for home. Jackson asked to kick away with a surge and now quickly opens up three or more of a matriarch as they lead the 7-16th. Another champion is under the pump, asked to make up a seven-length deficit and Mule Train now beginning to get closer as they have left the three and approach the final 5-16th. Uh, Jackson continues to dictate terms up front. Matriarch needs to find four, maybe even more. Another champion is racing near the rail and getting touches of that left-hand stick and mule train at the back in the yellow cap, but it is Jackson who maintains the advantage with 3 16th remaining, continuing to hold a four, maybe a five-length lead. Matriarch hanging tough for second at the moment. Another champion is down against the fence and mule train now gets going late, but it looks as if mule train is running for a minor share as Jackson continues to pour it on. It is a Jackson and O'Shea Nugent running away in the third event, winning by maybe seven lengths over mule train. Matriarch finishes back in third and we have a faller the rider on the ground of another champion victory to the even money entry jackson partnered by two-time champion apprentice o'shea nugent jackson spread to one minute 23 and four fifths of a second covering 1300 meters on a sloppy race track race four was named in honor of shanique singh miss jamaica world for 2022 this was a non-restricted maiden condition race for native bred three-year-olds. Ready for a start. This is race number four. Six and a half for long. They're off and racing. Stepping a bit slow, that's the killer mockingbird. Waterman John is in the mix. Also there, that's Oh My. And it's Waterman John that goes for that lead. Right there too, that simply sensational coupling up. Then comes Warhorse. Behind those, that is Oh My. Right on the rail and coming on, that's the killer mockingbird as they go past the five. Making progress is here comes Doc and Joe Blaine is tacked onto the tail and now overtaking Oh My and left at the back of the field, Adorable Jay. They go towards the passing the four and it is Waterman John in front of Simply Sensational running in second. Right there in third, that's War Horse. The Killer Mockingbird is in the mix, making progress, eye catching progress. That's Joe Blaine. Here comes Doc who is also there, Oh My, tailing off. And way out of it and hopeless, that's adorable, Jay. They're coming at the top of the lane, and Waterman John has a good-looking lead. On the inside, that, and coming on, that is simply sensational. Joe Blaine will have to find more and begins to come forward. Warhorse is also coming forward, but it is Waterman John in front, coming to the furlong pole, about three, four lengths in front of Joe Blaine. Hawks for more, it's Waterman John in front. Joe Blaine begins to take aim. Waterman John still in front and skidding her away. Joe Blaine is fighting hard to come, but Waterman John is in front and in control. Waterman John keeping on by about six lengths. Joe Blaine is second. Then comes Warhorse, who oh my might be fourth. Waterman John was in fine form to land Sunday's fourth event under the competent handling of Tevin Foster for trainer Fitzgerald Richards. The three-year-old Bay Colt was comfortable in securing victory by six and a half lengths. So a brilliant opening half of racing takes us to our first break on the Kimanas Park Highlight Show. On the other half of our presentation, we'll have a look at races 6 to 10, which included the day's feature, the Louis Hitchens Memorial Cup. Welcome back to the Kimanas Park Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll bring races 6 to 10. This included race 6, the J3's trophy, as well as race 8, which was our day's feature, the Louis Hitchens Memorial Cup. Race 5 was named the Streams 876 trophy. This was a 3-year-olds and up claiming event covering 900 meters. Horse number 2, Cheeto Prince, was an even money favorite. Meanwhile, the five-horse Purple Wayne was a late non-starter. They're off. Katie Rocket gets a good start along with Call the Emperor drifting to the far side early. Chai Two Prince in the green with the black now racing near to us. Loose Cannon not too far off that one. As they come racing now toward the uh, final three furlongs. So Chai Two Prince possibly just the leader, Loose Cannon attacking early and these two have pulled right away from the rest of the field 
as they sort themselves out. Willardine has come in behind and uh, coming over toward the stands. KD Rocket also drifting toward the stands, but the war is on up front. Chai Two Prince and a loose cannon matching strides. Chai Two Prince now being tapped with that right hand stick to take him off. Loose cannon who now points and loose cannon shows on that lead. Chai Two Prince refusing to quit, but loose cannon now beginning to shake loose on the Shavon Townsend and loose cannon begins to roar away from them. Loose cannon coming in for an easy win by maybe five lengths, could be even more. Chai Two Prince is second. Regagon Grammy third. Willardine is fourth. The 9 to 5 entry Loose Cannon looked easing a victory, conditioned by trainer Andrew McDonald. Loose Cannon came home ahead of the field by five and a half lengths. The sixth event was the J3A's Trophy. This was an event for high level claimers covering 1,000 meters straight. They're off and racing. Super Duper gets a flyer. Also, on the near side, that is a Will of the Conqueror. Phoenix Risen is right, also prominent. Right there, too, that is Capture My Ship, Den Street, and uh, Casual Affair. They're all in a line. And, and uh, Phoenix Risen traveling nicely, right against the rail. Su Su Super Duper closest to us. So Super Duper looks to have the overall lead. Phoenix Risen is quite prominent. Also, there, that's Casual Affair as they come. Towards the uh, two furlong points, Super Duper in front. Phoenix Risen is really ch challenging nicely, but Super Duper still in front and traveling well. Phoenix Risen chasing all the while, coming on. That is Capture My Ship. Casual Affair is right there, too, on the far side. That's Den Street. It's Super Duper tying up a bit. Phoenix Risen coming forward nicely. Super Duper hanging from Phoenix Risen. Super Duper has done enough. And Super Duper will win the J3A Trophy. Super Duper beats Phoenix Risen. Then comes Den Street running on for the fourth. That is a turn on the light. Catawba is fifth. The 8 to 5 entry Super Duper ridden by Oshadane Robinson secured victory in the day six event. On a track quickly drained of moisture, Super Duper clocked one minute flat going 1,000 meters straight. The day's seventh race was a Storyteller Trophy. Horse number 10, Breaking Storm, was a late scratch. Jockey Shamari Muir was aboard the 7 to 5 favorite three card guy. They're off. Last to raw, steps off just a bit slow. Crushing power dashes through, gets an early lead. Hail Mary runs the rail as they make the way now to the half mile marker and go zipping past it with crushing power on that lead. Three card guy now rushing up on the outside to join at the 716. Senior Kwanzi is three and a quarter lengths back, joined by Crafty Zelazine. Hail Mary a further three and a half back and racing in fifth spot. Sparkling tradition on the outside making mild gains. Galway Bay races up next and Silver Soul at the back of the field. It's a last hurrah as the leaders are at the top of the lane and come sprinting into the stretch. Three card guy on the outside grabs the lead. Crushing power continues the battle. That's the grey. Here's Crafty Zelazine now let loose the rider, quickly changing his hold and asking for everything. But three card guy continues to hold the advantage. Crushing power on the rail. Crafty Zelazine out three wide. Three card guy battling to keep them off. Three card guy drifting just off a true line, but continues to respond to the right hand stick. Shamari Muir and three card guy win by two. The favorite three-card guy justified the favorite's tie to win the Storyteller Trophy. With deceptive speed, the three-card guy clocked one minute four and three-fifths of a second going 1,000 meters round. Race 8 was the day's feature event, the Louis Hitches Memorial Cup. The four-horse, Power from Above, horse number four, Secret Admiral, as well as Lady Paula, the eight-horse were all declared non-starters. The three to five entry from Sheer to Ben was sent off the punters' favorite. Uh, they're off and racing. Superior gets a good start on the far side as they make their way out of the chute. Coming up nicely on the inside, that's Antarctica. As they're passing the one mile post and coming to the seven, making the running. Antarctica, just the leader from right there on the inside, that is. From Sheer to Ben, right beside from Sheer to Ben, that's power of her highness. Then comes Superior, and life is life, brings them in at the rear. They come toward the six furlong point, and it's Antarctica being tested as they pass the six by from Sheer to Ben. Right there in third, about two lengths away or three lengths away, that's power of her highness. Further four lengths to life is life, and racing at the back of the field about a length or two lengths, that's Superior. 
We head toward the four furlong point and it's Antarctica stretching the lead by a length and a half from, from Sheer to Ben right there in second. Power of Her Highness tracking them on the inside in, in third as they pass the four. Another six length before we come to life is life and a further seven to Superior. They head toward the uh, three furlong point and Antarctica bold on that lead. About six, four lengths in front of a power of Her Highness going down into second, backing out a bit from Sheer to Ben, making progress against the rail. That's life is life. Superior has never been in it. They're at the top of the lane, Antarctica, trying to take them pillar to post. Antarctica, about four to five lengths in front of Power of Her Highness, chasing. Also coming on, life is life, beginning to find life, and comes forward, but it's Antarctica. Antarctica still in front, life is life. Looks to be the only danger. Antarctica is charting the court. Life is life. It's coming on dangerously. Antarctica tying up. Life is life. Trying to get to Antarctica, but it's, it's a bit too late. A day, a day late and a dollar short. So it's Antarctica. Life is life is second. Then comes Power of Her Highness from Sheer to Ben. The pier is last. Antarctica froze all rivals to deliver an ice cold performance in the day's feature. Conditioned by trainer Errol Wall for jockey Javanil Patterson, Antarctica clocked 1 minute 54 and 2 fifths of a second, covering 1800 meters in the Louis Hittins Memorial Cup. Race 9 was the Press Association of Jamaica Trophy. This event also had three non runners in Premier Identity without remorse and pip. This is the Press Association of Jamaica Trophy, 1000 meters straight thereof. Desert of Malibu. Strides out strong on the far side, beginning to attack across. Stormer come in the green is right up with the front runners. Potential nearest to us also showing good early dash as they make their way now toward the final three. Stormer come may just have that lead over Potential and a Desert of Malibu cruising at the moment. They're on the run toward the quarter and a Desert of Malibu comes right through and may just have that lead over potential nearest to a Stormer come now feels the sting of the stick in the green with a red cap but it's a Desert of Malibu under an easy hand ride. Phenometer right in behind her. Potential is now racing up on the outside but this Desert of Malibu is now shaken up and asked to go. A furlong to run. Desert of Malibu now explodes and Desert of Malibu looks to have put paid to all of them inside the final 16th. Desert of Malibu, a big one in the making, outclassing the field and winning by double digits over Phenomena Potential, Squeak and Stormer come. The 1-5 to five entry Desert of Malibu cup the Press Association of Jamaica Trophy, ridden by Radish Roman for trainer Gary Sabrati, the powerful US importer clock 59 and 4 fifths of a second, covering 1,000 meters straight. The day's final event was a Rock Hilton Trophy, 11 faced a starter covering 1,000 meters straight. They're off and racing, they came away in a very good start. Prince Sanjay gets a good break right in the middle and a prominent and maybe leading it already. That is KP Choice. So KP Choice is right dead center in the track over on the far side that's Airstream and posing already closest to us. That is a gift from Ben and Jaguar. So. KP Choice in the middle. To the group on the near side leading, that is a, a gift from Ben and Jaguar. Over on the far side alone, that's the gray airstream, but it's a gift from Ben traveling nicely over to the rail. That is Jaguar. KP Choice left back a bit, a gift from Ben coming to the furlong pole and traveling nicely. It's a gift from Ben getting rid of this field and a gift from Ben looks to be going away from them. They're all running for second. A gift from Ben running away with the Rock Hilton Trophy. A gift from Ben sprinting off and sprinting clear by maybe eight lengths. Running on for second. That's KP Choice. Legal Bomb is there for third. Jaguar fourth and maybe Whiskey in fifth. Jockey Tevin Foster again delivered. This time aboard the 5-2 to two entry. A gift from Ben. The winning time was logged at 58 and two-fifths of a second. So Sunday's race card was highlighted by Antarctica's victory in the day's feature, the Louis Hitchens Memorial Cup. There were also memorable wins for Super Duper in the J3's trophy and Waterman John in the fourth event, named in honor of 2022 Miss Jamaica World Shanique Singh. This has been another edition of the Caymanus Park Highlights Show. Join us again next time.